can we predict the next surge of COVID-19 cases? Scientists say they already have. It's all the work of this lab right here at UNLV. What they do is they take samples from sewers and different wastewater centers across the valley. The samples can tell us how many people might be catching COVID in a specific neighborhood. What they have done so far, they have tracked cases of the UK variant, the Delta variant, and now say the mu variant is here and slowly spreading. I didn't expect that we would be hitting all of these large peaks, how resistant people would be to vaccination. Can we track where COVID cases will pop up? The UNLV Wastewater Surveillance Program has grown into a crucial tool in the Valley, warning health officials what's coming next, including the new Mu variant. <laughs> People who are infected shed the virus through their waste into the sewage. Sewage samples can tell a lot how many people are infected or will be infected in a neighborhood. In the spring, we told you the team predicted that the UK variant was already spreading among hundreds. Then in May and June, predicted a tidal wave of Delta variant infections. There was this explosion in that signal of Delta in the wastewater. They sounded the alarms to health authorities before we reached our summer surge. Teams have now traced mu. There's still no scientific consensus what it does, but it does have different mutations known to make vaccines less effective and reinfect those who had COVID. We started seeing uh, mutations associated with mu July and in June. And then in August, we started seeing a little bit more, nothing like Delta. Mu has mutations in the spike protein, takes fewer particles in the air to get an infection into another human body. So I'm less worried about it than I am what's really screaming through the population right now, which is Delta. April 27th, that's when Clark County actually had its first mu case when it had no name. Clark County has since had 28 cases documented by the state lab, with a total of 41 in five Nevada counties. It's not spreading quickly, at least now. There's an overall message and a warning. The unvaccinated are most at risk. If you go out there and say, well, even vaccinated people are getting infected, so we're all in this. It's like, that's not, there's actually major differences there. The virus replicates more in unvaccinated individuals. It replicates longer in unvaccinated individuals. Vaccination doesn't only protect you, it keeps you out of the hospital. The surveillance program is now growing, helping other states. Dr. O says 20 states have signed up helping have their wastewater analyzed too to track what's going on there.